Hey YouTube, welcome back. It's Friday. We have a brand new combo reveal. It is the Confusion Ultra Mail. And so project's been like at least two years in the making for me. A couple misses and we finally got it. And you also kind of get a case study of why confusions can be so high strung. Just an example of it because I get they light me up in this video. So I hope you guys really enjoy it. We're gonna check out the mom and dad and then the babies and we'll see you at the end. So here's the dad. This is a Confusion Head, 100% Head Ultra Mill. We made him, it's been almost a couple years, it's taken us that long to actually put the pieces of this project together because last year we didn't get any offspring from him and then we missed the odds on another clutch. So it's just been a long wait, but the confusions are so awesome because they have those crazy bellies, that crazy pattern. Now this is, these are also identical to the acid and static projects. So if you're seeing those and you're thinking those are awful similar, it's because they're all the same, seems like the same mutation from what we can tell. Um, they were just found, in, the projects were founded by different people and given different names. And uh, for me in my own collection, I just keep the names original too. Um, the lineages, the founders that made them because I think they deserve that credit. It's been a lot of time working on it. So this is the male. And so our goal was to make this with the awesome ultra male pattern. Let's check out the mom. So here's mom and you guys have probably you noticed know, a few times in my videos, but I love the ultra male project. It is a color combination. It makes bright, bright orange, caramely. It's kind of a, it's, it's, the, we've gotten up these different um, T plus albino um, genes, kind of an order. We've had caramels first and then ultra males and then monarchs. And we're still kind of learning how they all interact with each other, but they seem completely incompatible. But ultra male is one of the most beautiful ones because it has a really deep, rich caramel pattern. Absolutely beautiful. It kind of looks like that, uh, um, or a bubble gum look. Beautiful. Now this is actually a ultra male yellow belly. So it's not a huge difference, but you see there, they're a little bit brighter markings. They also have those yellow belly side patterns, like on the sides of the belly. So we have a video about how to identify yellow bellies if you want to check that out as well. But let's go see the awesome babies, the ultra male confusions we made with this pair. All right, so here's the first two, and these are standard confusions. They're likely gonna light me up with biting my little fingers as, I, as we show you guys here, but we're gonna do it for you. Let's check them out. All right, so we're gonna start right here. I've already been struck at twice, just in the last 30 seconds here by this one. This is the confusion head ultra male and a regular ultra male side by side. So the whole goal, again, this is just like the parents in a way, right? The dad and the mom. Confusion Head Ultra to an Ultra Male. Let's see if I can keep them getting bit. And then we wanted to put all those into one snake and we ended up with incredible odds. Actually, eight out of the nine were confusions. And you know, being incomplete dominant, only half of them should have been. But this is a Confusion Ultra Male right here. And the banding on this is just amazing. You can see next to the regular Ultra Male, it's just the pattern really is different. And that's really kind of what it's about with these pattern mutations. You just want to change the color. You want to take, bring the pattern into these new color palettes and be able to enjoy them. Really, really awesome. Of course, the Confusions have that cool belly. Look at that, all that patterning on the belly. And it really gives it a neat look. So as you guys probably remember from the parents, we also had Yellow Belly in the pairing. And so we ended up with one, just one. So we got great odds of the confusion, but only actually only two yellow bellies in the clutch, one visual and then one head. But this is, boy, this is a yellow belly confusion ultra male. And honestly, it just takes the colors and makes them a little bit more extreme, a little bit nicer, cool head stamp, but then it has a lot more checkering on the belly there, especially on those edges from the yellow belly and the confusion together. An incredible clutch. Great odds, so eight out of nine were confusions, and then I think it's six out of nine, or is it five out of nine, were ultra males. So great odds across the board, lots of confusions, lots of ultra males, and uh, I wish they could all be this way, but really, really, really love this project. We know how great confusion is with some of these other genes like the spot nose. Oh, get the little tail wag there, did you see that? He's really upset me. We know how great confusion, whoa. See a little bit of behavioral there, just really telling me, leave me alone. Now, I found out here in the US, we get a lot of tail wagging in the leaves and it kind of makes them sound like rattlesnakes. But they do that even on animals like this that have instincts that are not at all from the US. But I don't want to rile these up anymore. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and put them away over here and see if we can. Oh, hey, hey, hey. It's okay. Don't bite me. Look at these, oh. They struck me at exactly the same moment. This is just wagging, look at this. So notice how this is not, this is the one that's not biting, the non-confusion. So there's two genes actually that I think actually tend to be a little bit just high strung as far as the biting goes and everything. And you see, I'm not doing anything to rile them up. They're just like any kind of heat source. They're like 
all worked up about it. So the, remember the old desert gene, not the desert ghost, but the desert gene that was so beautiful but had problems with like the females wouldn't produce, those also were high strung in the same way the confusions are. It's a little odd, but most genes don't necessarily have a personality attached to them. But these seem to somehow. So when they're really like this, this, this is actually a good extension for our, what to do if your snake's trying to bite you. They're really hard to, I don't want you to fall. Hey, hey, I usually just go like this. If I can get your, if you can get your hand over them, now this is getting in on the action. Again, the, the non-confusion is perfectly chill and fine. All right, okay, let's put you away. Let's go with you. You're the one getting all your brothers and sisters all worked up. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. And you, you're fine, you're fine. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. I took a couple for the team and you got to see some uh, some live action ball python wrangling. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to join us next week on the channel and be sure to like and subscribe. I think most of you guys watched without liking and subscribing. It just means a lot to us. It shows us you're out there. If you push that button and hit the bell so you can get notifications. Appreciate all of you. See you next week.